everyone welcome back to my channel shining arya so i have delayed in uploading my videos because i was a little bit busy in my annual examinations but from now we will discuss about the himalayan region the great northern wall of india so in my this video series we will discuss about the formation of the himalayas the plate tectonic theory the physical structure of the himalayas and the important passes in this region so today we will start from the formation of the himalayas and it is also very important for various examinations so the nature has blessed us with a great natural barrier which is between the indian subcontinent and the rest of the asia which has helped this region to live in peace and prosperity and to develop its own culture so this story takes us millions and millions years back into the geological past where this area now occupied by the himalayas and the northern plains was under a sea called the tethys sea which was sandwiched between two chain landmasses the angara land in the north and the gondwana land in the south so from millions of years the erosion of the two landmasses resulted in deposition of silt in the tethys sea so when these two landmasses were slowly heading towards each other uh, due to the compressional force acting from the two sides and resulted the four mountains such as the himalayas of the today so now uh, we will discuss this story by seeing on these pictures okay so in this picture we will see that how the indian plate had broken from the gondwana land and started moving towards the north so here this is the gondwana land and the indian plate has broken from the gondwana land and from today before 70 million years ago india was here and then from today before 50 million years ago india was here and today india is here so then what happened that the indian plate and the eurasian plate started to push each other so then how did the himalayas form yes to look at this particular situation we will first move on to this picture so here we can see that the indian plate is ready to collide with the eurasian plate and is carrying all the silt which were is the erosion agents had brought the silt and deposited them on the floor of the tethys sea and here the tethys sea is now started to going inside the eurasian plate with the uh, sediments the silt and the here with the eurasian plate it is also started to have some folds and they started to gain height and it is now called the tibetan plateau so then we will move on to this picture so here this is the indian plate and this is the eurasian plate so the ancient oceanic crust the tethys sea has went inside and the indian plate has went inside to this direction okay and now also it is moving so then here it has disappeared and 
there is not any major volcanic activity in this region because the magma created here is solidified in the depth only so now what happens when these two uh, plates are pushing each other a force is created here which is the compressional force from these two sides so due to this compressional force when these two continental crust are pushing each other uh, the rocks and silt are having folds they have folds so when the indian plate and the eurasian plate were pushing each other the himalayas had folds and now they are known as the youngest fold mountains so then the himalayas started to rise with the silt that the indian plate carry and uh, there was a gap in behind the himalayas which was called the sachar zone okay so the sachar zone is the place where two plates collide to each other and make a gap so here this is the sachar zone behind the himalayas and here is the rising tibetan plateau the tibet plateau here it raised so uh, here we can see here now so if the sachar zone between the indian plate and the eurasian plate is called the indus sangpo sachar zone so the indus river flows here uh, representing the northern limit of the himalayas and here when the himalayas fold the indus river flows into the pakistan and here the sangpo river the brahmaputra river it is called in india the sangpo river flows parallel to the himalayas and where the himalayas fold the brahmaputra river also flows uh, turns suddenly and enters the india so when these both were plates were colliding the indian plate and the eurasian plate due to the compressional force the indian plate had a curve like this but when the himalayas were rising the erosion agents like the rivers the winds they carried all the silts and rocks and spread it on the foothills of the himalayas here and formed the northern plains so now we have completed our today's topic the formation of the himalayas part 1 and in the next video we will discuss about the plate tectonic theory so it is also very important for various examinations and if you like my video please subscribe share like and comment bye